what, what the mate is talking about. Black Street don't leave and Teddy's jam, but do do you know what I'm talking about? Like, nope. the, like look, 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 I know you got a whole bunch of them. I know you got a, I'm just saying my absolute ones that I can just play all day, every day. Those two right there. Mm -hmm. oh, man. Having a song, having a song with your name in it, right? It's crazy, <laughs> every, right? And everybody, it is a hit song. It's almost like the Snoop Doggy. What's my name? Snoop Doggy. Dog. Yep, that, that. You know, I never could write a song with my name in it to make it sound right, you know, like make it real, real cool. Uh, but you were able to pull it off. How was it going into the clubs and, and being on the streets and seeing cars pass by and you hearing your name? Like, it, that had to be a good feeling, man. I'm dog unbelievable, man. I'm telling you, man. It's, it's like, when that first happened, and I don't take the credit, I have to say Aaron Hall was the one who pushed me having a, my name in a song. Because I was like, yo, I don't want no name. I don't want my name in no damn song. Right. <laughs> I don't want. And he was like, yo, you got to trust me, man. You got to trust me. And I said, all right. But if it's whack, man, I'm going to be like this laughing stock with my name in a song. He was like, no, trust me. The way I'm going to sing it, trust me, people going to be like singing it too. I was like, <laughs> um, I, was, I was like, all right. Cute. But I was scared. I was scared. And then yeah. he said, I'm going to do a Teddy Jam too. I was like, oh. <laughs> and I was, I was really afraid because, you know, you, people, we're fast to scrutinize. Yeah. You know, when some go sour, like, like, like the battle. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> which we'll get into later right, right. but the, we, we're afraid to be scrutinized because you know when you got to walk around your way so my way is like when i go places like you know we're going to the soul train awards you don't want to be like yo right. <laughs> <laughs> with his name in it too that you know but i trusted him and 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 he he made one, two, and three. And then when Bobby and I did my prerogative, you know, my name in a record. You know, it's it's a lot of records with my name in it. Jay-Z asked Teddy Rowley about me. Right. When when that happens, you know, it's like you're lifted at the same time, it's like it's a blessing. Sometimes it could be a curse, and I'm so happy that God made it a blessing. Yeah. You raise a lot of people, man, and that music, man, I'm just thinking to myself, you know, I had a couple of experiences, but I mean, when it comes to being in that bedroom and being ready and it's that moment, it's got to be a damn good feeling to have that kind of music and a woman's, like, say, play this song for me and it's your music like like i said i have my little you know little time whatever but mm -hmm. you know like this is ongoing for you bro like this is all day <laughs> no, this, well, this, this is all the time you know for you like uh, like I, I can't i can only imagine uh you know being in that type of position and having those type of songs you got the baby making songs I have to. You know why? Because I was around the baby making. Living in the projects, everybody's having a baby. Huh. Everybody's <laughs> having a baby. So that was the experience for me. I had to write about it. I had to write about how they could do more of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and I did, you know. And, and, and like I said, with all the different people, you know, Aaron Hall writing songs like Let's Chill and Tease Me Tonight and Let's all of these records. And, and Bernard Bell, I have to say, Bernard Bell, Regina Bell's brother, is the guy. He wrote that, Tammy Lucas, Goodbye Love, uh, Karen, Karen Anderson, uh, Don't Leave. Um, but Bernard wrote Kissing Game. Bernard wrote um, Remember the Time. Yeah. Bernard wrote 
I'm talking about the lyrics. Once, once I tell him, listen, these are the words I want to say. I want Michael to say, and he'll write around it. This the per him and Tammy Lucas and Karen. When I give them a melody, and some of the melodies, I'll spell out the words. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we fell in love? I finished it. So they would finish all my sentences of what I would give them as far as the guideline of where I want to go with these love songs. So, but Aaron was the only one who can actually read my mind and I don't have to sing nothing. And Aaron and would actually- Aaron was like really in tune with you as an artist. Yes, and a producer. See, a lot of people don't know Aaron wrote a lot of the songs with me. He wrote, he wrote my prerogative. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine, I can see that song being an Aaron Paul song. <laughs> because it was. He embodied that. had to give it to Bobby. <laughs> yeah, he embodied it. <laughs> they say I'm crazy. Wow. Yeah, nigga, you wow. are. <laughs> OK. Oh, man. That makes a lot of sense. Aaron and I, we spent a lot of time along with Timmy Gatlin. Now, Timmy Gatlin, beast in writing. You know, he wrote, when will I see you smile again? He wrote, I like him and him and Aaron. So with that being said, Timmy, he knows me from when I was 13 years old. We were in a uh, group together. But Aaron Hall, this dude would come all the way from Brooklyn and sleep on my couch and like, yo, I got a new, yo, know, it's all right with your mom. If I spend a night, I got a new joint. And he would come in and it would be a new record. Like, we, that's how we came up with these songs because he slept on my couch. Aaron didn't wear sneakers. I bought him his first pair of Jordans and he never wore Jordans before because he was a church guy. He was in church and his dad didn't buy him no sneakers. He's like, these are shoes and this is another pair of shoes. He bought him 10 pairs of shoes just for church. So I, I, I said, yo, we're going to get some Jordans. We're going to go to Dr. J's. And, and we went to Dr. J's around the corner of 125th Street because I live on 129th Street. And we would go there. And he was like, yo, I never had Jordan before. And that was my first time knowing he never had sneakers. Right. So it's crazy. Aaron Hall, daddy, was a minister. Yep. Wow. Bishop. I can see Aaron now, right? Cussing, I can just see him like at church. <laughs> yeah, Aaron Hall, that's how, you know, he used to play keys in church and he would play secular songs. Right. <laughs> I was like, his father was like, yo, <laughs> what you doing? And, and it's so crazy. Our band members went to the same church, Hezekiah, all of them. We all, we all basically tied into each other. You know, Hezekiah drummer, our drummer, we just lost our drummer to, the, to Corona, uh, Jeff. You know, and condolences to Jeff's family and, you know, um, and, and everybody from the, um, Hezekiah's church. You know, he's such a great guy. He played for us for a little while until Hezekiah took him back. And, you know, he, he just stayed in the church and played. And, but this is how, you know, we never know what happens tomorrow. You know, it's not promised, but... Mm -hmm. Aaron used to do all of that, and that's how we even got our gospel songs. Aaron would write, he would write that too. He would just come in and just write. He was just, he just wanted music. You know, we all wanted music, and we all wanted to do the music and and live it, and that's what we did. What the talking about?